structured settlements for children and minors uh, and incompetence is probably the most widely recognized usage of structured settlements among attorneys, guardians, and judges. Let's talk a little bit about why structured settlements make a lot of sense and let's also talk about um, how structured settlements can be used as part of an overall settlement planning package to benefit minors. First of all, why would a, why would a minor be benefit from a structured settlement? Well, typically, when it comes to a settlement involving a minor, uh, the state laws typically require that the money either go into a restricted account, and the restricted accounts are restricted to very limited types of investments that often pay very low interest. Um, those investments are typically taxable. Now, if it's a small settlement, uh, the tax issue may not be as great, but if it's a larger settlement, it could be significant. A structured settlement, on the other hand, is assuming that you're getting payments for a physical injury, and again, it has to be a physical injury, physical sickness, wrongful death. Um, it's unlikely a minor would be uh, involved in workers' compensation, so that's one element that's also tax income tax-free. So. For all intents and purposes, when it comes to minors, uh, it has to be something where the damages are excludable under Internal Revenue Code Section 104A2. That's a critical element in order for it to be income tax free. So that's, that's most of the minor settlements, whether it be medical malpractice, um, a child being a survivor of a parent who died in an air crash, uh, somebody who's been uh, physically injured, uh, dog bites, or uh, uh, slipped on a property or got burned somewhere. Uh, something happened to them at camp. Uh, there's a whole host of things that give rise to, uh, to uh, injuries and, and, and sickness for minors. Payments can be uh, completely customized, whether for college, uh, for something in the future, to give uh, you know, a, a sort of a leg up, a down payment for a home or to start a business. Um, having been in the business for over, uh, you know, over 20 years, I've seen a lot of different situations. Uh, Let's face it, uh, many 18 or 19 year olds are not uh, mature enough to deal with large sums of money. Some very well may be, and this is not meant to be insulting, but having dealt with people, I've dealt with people who have had structured settlements and also done some cash, and they've blown through their cash and they're happy that they have a structured settlement because it provides a level of stability. It's a level of stability that cannot uh, be changed, and some people feel that that's a negative, and in some cases, it very well may be. But in the majority of cases, the safety, stability, and the guarantees provide a foundational beginning for someone who is a minor who will grow into a young adult and need some time to understand and have lessons concerning money. It would be a shame if, uh, if you think about why a minor has received that money. They receive the money because of the loss of a parent or loss of a limb or uh, excruciating pain that they've gone through, um, to have this money just disappear because of something frivolous. So a structured settlement is a great tool uh, for people who are younger. Now in terms of settlement planning for people who are younger, it shouldn't be, I, want, I really want attorneys to kind of really think about this and also parents. It doesn't necessarily just have to be a structured settlement or nothing. Um, you can have a structured settlement and you can also address other needs. In a recent case uh, that I worked on, uh, we did a combination of a uh, spendthrift trust, life insurance on a single parent, as well as the structured settlement. Now, I know that there's a lot of single parents out there, and if your child's been injured uh, and something happens to you, what plans have you made um, to m assure the survival of your child? Who's gonna be the guardian? How is, what kind of financing is there going to be for your, your child's college or graduate school or just general overall well-being? So we might weave in um, a life insurance policy for a parent. A life insurance policy pays also, like a structured settlement, pays uh, income tax-free uh, benefits to those who receive it. And it can be very well weaved into a settlement plan, and we often do that. Typically, we marry a life insurance policy owned by a trust um, so that there's some level of continuity and it's not just owned by the parent and, and part of their estate. Uh, there are little, literally umpteen uh, different types of planning scenarios, but that's just a, another uh, example of, the, of what makes sense. 
What's also very, very important when you're dealing with settlement planning for children is to provide some level of education. And that's one of the things that I feel that I do very, very well, and I encourage you to give me a call. I'd be happy to chat with your, um, your, at your child or your young adult and help educate them about money and the process that they're going through. Uh, it's very, very important that somebody spends the time because there's only regrets later if you make a decision and then find out that you uh, made the wrong move and what you, you had or what you, you had in the past and you made a bad mistake. You want to be able to learn from your mistakes but not completely be destroyed by your mistakes and that's where good settlement planning comes in. It's also very important to educate your children because um, many of the uh, companies in the secondary market scan court records and so your, your child may be solicited upon their majority to sell their structured settlement payments and at an age when they're a little bit less mature or perhaps more vulnerable to these type of solicitations. So it's important for them to understand what they have and what to be aware of. We're not saying that um, those companies are, are all bad. What we're saying is that they're going to be solicited. These companies are in business to make a profit and in some cases there are valid reasons to uh, sell structured settlement payments. But the good planning that you parents do can be completely undone uh, because of a lack of education. So that's something that we feel that we do very, very well. So if you have any questions about structured settlements for children, financial planning for children, or other issues, uh, state planning related, financial planning related, or otherwise related to children, please give us a call. Uh, one other item that I, I just realized that I, um, I did not mention has to do with um, how to construct structured settlements if you're in a situation uh, where a child is probably going to need some financial aid. And it's very, very important that you are aware of the nuances of financial aid so that you don't find yourself disqualified from it um, or some of it's minimized because of poor planning. So again, I'm John Dare. Uh, look forward to hearing from you with your questions about settlement planning and structured settlements for children and minors. Thank you and have a good day.